Hi, Amy Smith here from Connect Health Fitness and Wellness. How are you doing? Today I wanted to go through some early exercises to prepare you to do bicycles if you are newly postnatal and you want to work your way back into doing some core exercises. So I'll head down onto the floor and I'll see you there. Now I want to put a disclaimer in here. If you have a diastasis recti or you're still healing from a cesarean section, please go and see a women's health physiotherapist just to get everything assessed, make sure you're clear to start doing these gentle exercises. If you have a diastasis and you notice any doming at all in your tummy as you're doing these exercises, please stop because that, not, that exercise is not suitable for you at this time. So again, see a women's health physio to build up to an exercise like this or you can book in with me and we can go through some bespoke exercises for you. Nothing is one size fits all, so go with your body. For this series, you're going to need your own body weight and a resistance band. To get down onto your back, I want you to be careful so as to not aggravate any diastasis that you have. So just lie onto your side and roll onto your back. And that way you're not crunching, you're not creating any intra-abdominal pressure that's going to push out on the diastasis. While you're lying down, you might as well be comfy, so grab yourself a pillow. And I want you to just check in, see what your spine is like, see if you can fit your hands under there, you're not overly arching, or you're not imprinting into the floor. Next, just feel through your tummy, take a big breath in, take a big breath in as you breathe in, send it to the ribs. If you're not sure what I mean by that, there are a couple of other videos, I'll pop a link up above so you can see it. So you're gonna breathe in, and then as you breathe out, imagine everything is tightening together, everything is coming across, and the pelvic floor is lifting at the same time. And if you're not sure how to do this, please get in touch or see a women's health physio. So do a couple of those. Make sure you're bringing everything in. Okay, so I want to make sure that as you're doing all these exercises, your tummy is drawing in. So I want you to just have that awareness of it coming in as you breathe out. If you were to do bicycle straight away and you go like this, are you holding your breath? Are you noticing anything pushing out as you're doing it? So if you are, that's why this is too advanced at the moment. So the first one is a heel slide. Now in Pilates, they do want you to imprint. So you can try imprinting, drawing the tummy in and doing a rib hip connection. So shortening the distance between your rib cage and your hips and keeping that locked so nothing is wild. Then we're going to do some heel slides. So sliding out, inhale, exhale as you bring it back. Keep everything still. Keep the hips, imagine their headlights and they're pointing directly up to the ceiling. Keep the back printed in, exhale, slide up. So this is the first one. And it's starting with that single leg movement, getting the abs involved, and then relax. Another version of the heel slides, so before you go into the bicycles, is have a leg lift. So you're keeping your back pressed into the floor, and then breathe in, and then exhale, keep the pressure on this leg for balance, you're going to lift this leg up, and then tap back down. Bring this leg up, and tap back down. Once you can do the single leg lift without any pressing out, uh, without any doming, you can grab a resistance band and you can lift up, you can get a resistance band from my website. You lift up, wrap the resistance band around, and now you're going to extend the leg out. 
much like if you're doing bicycles. Inhale, exhale. With bicycles, your feet don't touch the ground. So let's practice some that movement. Around both feet. There you go to swap and repeat on the other side. The next step is heel or toe taps. So it's Pilates exercise. So again, with Pilates, you're imprinting your lower back. Rib hip connection is on. Feel that tighten. And then you're going to tap the floor, making sure you're not rocking the hips and you're keeping a hot cup of tea on your shin. Now, if you notice, if you're talking and you notice that you're trying to you're holding your breath and you're doing that kind of movement, kind of holding up here to keep everything tight, then it's a bit too advanced. Progression from here is extending and back. So pointing your toes and bringing back a bit like in bicycles. Only Progress to here when you're ready. Keeping everything on. Breathe in. Breathe out. And you get lower and lower when you're ready. You can start to include the upper body by inhale, exhale, bring one shoulder up and down, exhale, bring the other shoulder up and down, make sure everything's drawing in, no doming. Bicycles are always about length, and it's about lifting the shoulder, not waggling the elbows. So. Exhale, draw in and relax. Exhale, draw in and relax. Then you can start lifting the leg. Exhale, knee to elbow or knee to shoulder and down. Inhale, exhale, knee to shoulder and down. When you're ready, you can bring it up and then bring the other one up and extend. Any doming, any pressing out, don't do it. And then, when you're ready, let's go for it. So, so get back up, roll to the side, rolling up. As always, check yourself as you go through. If you're feeling like it's too advanced, if you're noticing any doming, if you're noticing you're holding your breath as you do any exercises, regress back to the previous level. If you like that video, please hit like and subscribe to this channel so you can find more videos like this. Any questions, please get in touch. My details will be in the description. And until then, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.